So what we have today here is very interesting. This is the ASUS ZenBook Flip S UX371 and it is powered by the latest 11th Gen Intel Core i7-1165G7. Yes, it is using the brand new Tiger Lake architecture and we are here to discuss about its performance. So before we begin, let's backtrack a little into the naming scheme of the Tiger Lake processors because I do think that the brand new naming scheme here, it actually makes sense and it also applies throughout the entire current lineup of Tiger Lake chips but most of it only, not entirely. So by taking the Core i7-1165G7 as an example, we can start off by saying that the first number here, the Core i number, is depending on the tier of processor. So you got Core i3, i5, i7, and then you got two more numbers after that, after the dash, which is the generation of chips. So 11 here means that it's 11 gen. And then the number immediately after the 11 there is actually to depict the further division down the Core i5 or Core i7 family of processors. So you got the Core i7 1185G7 and also Core i7 1165G7. So of course the 85G7 is higher in terms of power compared to the 65G7. And then the fourth number after the hyphen there is to depict what TDP it's operating at because the brand new Tiger Lake has two different tiers of operating TDP. So if that number starts with a zero, it means it's of lower TDP of 7 to 15 watts. And then if you are using a 5 for that position number, it's operating from 12 to 28 watts instead. And then after that, the G7. The 7 here means that um, whatever tier the graphical processor is using, this is a bit weird because you got the G7, which is the Iris Xe graphics, and then there's also a G4, which is using the Intel UHD graphics, the non-Iris Xe. And within the Iris Xe itself, you can see that the 1185G7 is using the Iris Xe with 96 execution units, but the Core i5 1135G7 also G7, but it only has 80 graphical units, execution units. I'm not too sure what's going on, but this naming scheme generally applies to the entire Tiger Lake of family chips that are available right now. Okay, so back to this laptop. This is the Zambo Flip S UX371 with the Core i7-1165G7. And of course, this is a thin and light ultrabook, doesn't have much space for cooling. And yeah, it claims to be very powerful. So I will be testing it with a few games and also a lot of synthetic benchmarks alongside with some temperature numbers and stress tests in the end. The Core i7-1165G7 is not even the highest powered SoC within the Tiger Lake family and it has a maximum TDP of 28 watts. By the way, this laptop also comes with 16 gigs of RAM. So Half of it is shared with the Iris Xe VRAM. I think that's how you're supposed to call it. But either way, the Iris Xe has a total of 8 gigs of usable system memory as VRAM. So do keep that in mind. So before we begin testing this laptop, the first thing we have to do here is change the power profile to high performance. Because do keep in mind that the Windows 10's power profile is totally separate from what ASUS has developed here because you have to go into My ASUS and then enable it to be high performance instead because if not, then you will have really throttle performance, which is what I experienced in the first place. So after you've done that, and we can now show you some synthetic benchmarks. And the numbers here just wrecked the AMD Ryzen 7 4700U throughout all graphically intensive tasks because this Iris Xe is just really powerful. But the CPU part is not entirely fair to compare because this is only a 4 core 4 threads processor but AMD has 8 cores and 8 threads. So those multi-core performance will be better on AMD side but Intel is still the single core king right here as seen on Cinebench R20. Now what I want to show you here is how great the gaming performance is on this laptop. Remember, this is an Ultrabook laptop and so far, gaming on an Ultrabook laptop is kind of uh, a wet dream of many people, me included. 
So I started off with Overwatch because I'm most familiar with that game and once I installed it and started up the game, I did get a very playable frame rate of nearly 60 frames per second throughout the entire gameplay. Also at 1080p lowest graphical settings by the way. So if I lock it down to let's just say 45 FPS, then the entire gaming experience would be extremely smooth and there's no sudden frame drops that will take me out of the immersion. And CSGO is the next game that I'm trying also at 1080p lowest graphical settings and it can maintain well above 60 frames per second so there's no problem there. And then for fun I also tried Fortnite on this laptop. So I installed Fortnite, ran it at 1080p lowest graphical settings and it is also about the same 60 frames per second. But I did realize that there are a lot of frame drops here and there so I'm not too sure what's happening as of now. Next up, I know a lot of you guys will ask, does this laptop actually run GTA 5? And yes, at its lowest graphical settings, I can mostly hit 30 frames per second, but I've seen dips to as low as 21 FPS. So if you lower down the resolution below 1080p, then you should be able to get a playable smooth 30 FPS. As for Genshin Impact, I did try on this laptop as well because it's the brand new hot game that you can download for free. So Genshin Impact on this laptop, it can run at a pretty okay frame rate even though it looks ugly as because of lowest graphical settings and 1080p and whatnot. Um, it's playable but also frame dips here and there so it's not entirely a smooth gaming experience so do lower it down to below 1080p for a smoother experience. And then I also tried Valorant at 1080p lowest graphical settings again and it ran above 60 frames per second so there's no issue there. And then for fun I also installed both Far Cry New Dawn and also COD Modern Warfare on this laptop and then tried running it. Um, Far Cry New Dawn is not entirely a heavy game so it did run but not entirely smooth as well so same case as GTA 5, so if you lower down the resolution to below 1080p, then it should be able to run at smooth 30 frames per second. But as for COD Modern Warfare, um, don't bother, it just wouldn't run it. And because the ASUS ZenBook Flip SUX371 is a thin and light ultra book, it has a pretty tiny cooling system. And it has to budget where all of those performance will go, either CPU or GPU part. So even though this chip is rated at 28 watt TDP. It is mostly held back by its cooling system because most of the time it will only operate at 15 watts when you stress test it. But throughout your usage, it might spike up to 28 watts for a split second or so when the cooling system can still take it. And speaking of the cooling system, temperatures. This laptop ran hot because it is only using a single heat pipe leading up to a really tiny heat sink. I mean, I wouldn't expect this laptop to be a gaming powerhouse or something like that, but it's, we still have to go back to reality that this is an ultra light, ultra book. So temperatures are at about 82 degrees Celsius most of the time when I'm playing games at the highest performance settings. And yeah, I mean, Asus did claim that they are using a brand new blade design for its fan, so there are a lot of thinner blades which is supposed to push out more air. But Asus, I want to ask you guys one thing. What happened here? Because you guys have the slits designed but they are not cut through. So I don't really know where all the air is going into the cooling system. So in conclusion, I know that this chip is meant to be low powered for ultra portable laptops like this laptop right here and it is not meant for gaming. But times are changing because having one device that can do multiple things is the hot thing right now. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that the next generation of Intel chips will be focused more on its graphical performance and it will bring even more high performance, low powered chips in the future. And I think Tiger Lake is a really big step forward from its Ice Lake and Comic Lake because this is just, this is amazing. So that's all we have to say about the brand new Tiger Lake chip, specifically the 1165G7 on this Asus ZenBook Flip SUX371. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you next time.